we don't support or endorse any candidates, but we do everything we can to further our goals, which is, and I didn't even mention it in the newsletter, that we are at, uh, working towards being a green port, and we're working for jobs and prosperity, and good jobs, uh, and uh, good benefits, so that people can afford to live here. And we also like trails, provided they're in the right place, and that the trails and rails. And uh, these are, are really important things that we can work on. And, um, as I've already told the ground, uh, the, the candidates, the ground rules are, they'll, there'll be a um, three minute introduction from all the candidates, uh, two minutes to answer a question, a minute for rebuts, and then there'll be a summation statement of uh, two minutes from the candidates. And as all the candidates know, I can be bribed. So with that, we'll start the uh, affair. Start our introduction of our candidates. And shall I shall I pick just one or shall I start at the other end? I think I, that's what I will do with Susan, who is running for the fourth district, fourth division Harbor District. Susan, it's all yours. Would you like to come up here and use the microphone? That's the way we're gonna do it. If, 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 <laughs> okay, if I talk in my normal voice, can everybody hear me? No. Oh. Okay, now can you hear me? Yes. All right, here we go. Okay. First of all, I want to thank the citizens for inviting us all here to speak with you. Um, I'm running for the Harvard District because I want to see both the Bay and our community thrive. I've been involved with issues around the Bay for a long time. One of my first involvements here was with the Humboldt Yacht Club, and I was Commodore there at the time of the old city marina, and our clubhouse were being demolished. So I worked with the city of Eureka to establish a new home for us. The result is that we now rent a room in the Warping building, which suits us very well, and does have the best day on the tree for anybody that wants to come and visit us. Um, I've been living here for 25 years, and among the changes I've seen is that the air quality has gone from horrible to wonderful. On the flip side of that, our economy and the businesses on which it has been based traditionally have deteriorated. So I think it's really important at this time that we work to rebuild the economy by creating a diverse economic base while maintaining the air and water quality that we've worked so hard to obtain. As your commissioner, I will chart a course to meet today's needs, protect our resources, and create a healthy and prosperous Bay and community. I believe that instead of pursuing a new shipping terminal, we should increase the use of our port for transporting freight by basing the West Coast Marine Highway System. This basically, as you probably all know, uses barges to transport goods, and in this case, it would go between Seattle and the stops along the way down to San Diego. This would use existing facilities. We would not be competing with, with private docks. It would provide local jobs, and it would provide local businesses with lower cost shipping options. I believe that our industrial lands should be put back to use. The district owns 60 acres of land out here at the Redwood Marine Terminal. Part of that is being used by the Timber Heritage Society. Part of it is being used by fishermen for gear storage. There's still a lot of land out there that could be being put to use by a diversity of businesses that are permitted there. 
I think that the district needs to both invite and welcome new businesses. We can help them with the permitting processes, and we can also help with cleanup of the site because that's going to be needed in some instances. While I really don't believe that the railroad through the Eel River Valley is going to be up and running again in anything approximating the near term future, I do see that the rail line between Eureka and Arcata will be used, is being used by the speeders. And the railroad does have the right of way here. I don't see any problem with the speeders using the track and us having a trail alongside it. There are areas where there is not enough room on the railroad berm or boat. I haven't looked at the engineering studies that are being done, but it seems that it would not be terribly difficult to divert foot traffic for whatever distance is necessary and bring it back on to the railroad right away. My time is up. No, you have 30 seconds. Oh, I have 30 seconds. Okay. Use it wisely. Okay. Um, okay. In some, I do think we can have both a healthy and prosperous bay and community. And I'm really looking forward to working with you, to serving our community, and creating a vibrant 21st century. Thank you very much for everyone coming out. I appreciate the um, CPD to putting this together. Although your acronym is different now, isn't it? Is it? Support and Railroad. All right, great. Railroad, yeah. All right, my name is Mike Wilson. I am the commissioner for the third division. Uh, I was raised here in Humboldt County. I'm raising my family here in Humboldt County. I'm a Humboldt State graduate uh, with a master's degree in environmental systems engineering. I'm a licensed professional civil engineer from the state of California, I'm a business person also in our district, I'm a recreational fisherman, I'm a member of REDEC and a member of, of the board of Friends of the Dunes as well. I'm also uh, the founding member of the Economic Development Committee for the Humboldt Bay Harbor District and uh, also on, uh, serve on the Management Plan Committee as well. Uh, I'm actually also on the committee for the selection of the consultants for the EIR for the Marine Terminal project right now as well. I have a broad base of support within my district, both from business leaders, uh, union, uh, which is the uh, AFSCME local 14, excuse me, 68, 1468, go, oh, darn it, anyways, which I was a member of, you'd think I would remember that. Um, in any case, uh, uh, also, I have uh, the support of the Sierra Club as well. Um, I'm proud of the accomplishments with regards to where I've, uh, what we've done with regards to the board in the last four years. Uh, one of the things we've started on, uh, which is great, is the short sea shipping option for Humboldt Bay, which I'm excited about. Uh, uh, we're moving forward with request for funds. Uh, from the federal government, uh, which we've been shortlisted for, which is great, uh, to move that project forward uh, for Humboldt Bay, where Humboldt Bay will be the center of a short sea shipping uh, movement, basically, or, or a program that's coastwide. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about what's, uh, what we've been uh, have, uh, moving forward with the Economic Development Committee, uh, as, well as, um, uh, as well as the forward movement we've seen for trails around Humboldt Bay. And I'm also uh, very encouraged by uh, what we've seen uh, with regards to restoration of estuarine systems around Humboldt Bay, and I'm glad to be, have been supportive of that as well. Another thing actually I really uh, enjoyed a lot in helping get started was getting the Timber Heritage folks into our property. Uh, I think that's a great thing. Uh, I'm glad of, you know, that we could do that, and I'm supportive of, uh, of having the Timber Heritage folks uh, move that forward. Um, I'm also uh, encouraging of the uh, getting the dredging uh, spoils area up and running so that we can uh, efficiently uh, uh, deal with some of our dredge issues, and that's great. I'm seeking re-election to continue to move forward with a uh, prosperous 
uh, Humboldt County and the Humboldt Bay area. And you know, we have been in decline for 30 years. Uh, I believe it's time for a new direction. I believe it's time for a new strategy. And I'm hoping to bring a practical uh, business approach uh, to that. And um, I thank you very much. And I'm going to sit down now. Thanks. <laughs> Cards that you want to Anybody that needs cards will give you cards here.